We have had three confirmed cases of COVID-19 and this is going to be changing on a daily, hourly basis. It's vital at this time that we remember the guidance to stay indoors, protect our NHS and in doing that I know as an NHS doctor you absolutely will be saving lives. Today we have 16 confirmed inpatients in the hospital three of whom are in the intensive care unit. We've been working with our local universities who's helping to supply and boost some of our key essential items. I'm standing outside of our new respiratory assessment unit. If you have COVID-19, this is where you'll be received into the hospital. We've had to change the way that um, we do our appointments and this is a result of the government guidelines around social distancing. So many of you now will find your appointments either on the telephone or maybe virtual. There are 37 COVID-19 positives in the hospital, seven of them in the intensive care unit. Behind each of these facts is a human being, is a person, is someone's mother, someone's brother, someone's father, someone who's been loved, someone who's lived a rich and rewarding life. So let our thoughts be with their families and their loved ones. Another important study that we're doing is called Recovery. That's looking at new treatments for patients with coronavirus. Six weeks ago, this was Pierce, an orthopaedic ward. An amazing 42 days later, it's this. A fully equipped, modern, intensive care unit with 14 beds. So it's Thursday today. That means the people of this country will come together again to clap the NHS. Thursday evenings, eight o'clock. We've all learned during this crisis how fantastic it feels to thank people, to be kind to people when they've done so much for us. Our NHS staff at great risk to themselves have tirelessly worked to make our lives as safe as possible and make us as well as possible. Do you know, I, I can't even describe how rewarding. I feel quite emotional that, um, you know, you're doing a massive thing to help. You're scared, you're petrified every room you go into, but you just look at that person that is in there and you can't give them what the doctors and nurses do, but you can give them a clean environment to get better in. And I do feel massively proud. I've met such amazing people and they have really made it a joy to come in such a stressful time. The best moment is definitely when we clap a patient out because they've, they've got better and we've, we've beaten it. Now, with the COVID demand at a lower level, we have the chance to focus on the needs of all our other patients. We're now able to restore many more elective planned treatments and surgeries. We can do your checkup virtually whilst you're at home via an online app called MyPreop. To give you an update around our sit rep, we have 11 suspected cases of uh, COVID in the hospital at the moment. We have 43 inpatients at the moment. We currently have 123 people here in hospital with us, 13 in ICU. Because of these increased pressures, we've taken the difficult decision to postpone some elective operations. We're just coming out of seeing a serious peak in the number of COVID positive patients at the hospital and an increase in the number of staff who have had the infection. And this has put a huge burden on our teams and threatened our ability to maintain all the other services we provide. So this is the heart of the vaccination clinic here. Here people will be greeted. They'll then be checked in by one of our care assistants and then they'll be allocated into one of our five clinical rooms. It is just a massive team effort um, to get where we are today. And where we are today is where we have a vaccination. As healthcare professionals, we've dealt with COVID both at home and at work. It has had a huge emotional and physical impact on all of us. And this vaccine represents the light at the end of the tunnel. It represents a way to keep ourselves, our colleagues and our family safe. So I am really proud of the work that we've done to get this COVID vaccine up and running.